Hey, it is Palisade peach season here in Colorado. So if you live in Colorado, if you get Palisade peaches, first of all, they're amazing, they're wonderful, but you get so many that sometimes it's hard to keep up with them. So one of the things that I want to do today is make a fruit salad that contains peaches. And I'm actually going to do a couple of different things in the fruit salad. Peaches, blueberries, cherries. Yes, I'm going to cut them in half. And yes, I'm going to take the bits out. And we'll see what that looks like at that point. I may or may not add bananas. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is every once in a while, you get peaches that have bad spots on them. That doesn't mean throw out the whole peach. That means you can cut off that bad spot, cut off any of the bruising that you might see on it from that, and then just move forward with that nice peach. So I have another one that I've cut a piece off of. And then I have a really pretty nice one that has nothing going wrong with it. It's just got a little bit of fuzz on it. Um, don't worry about the fuzz. You can eat the peach fuzz. If you want to wash it off, you can as well. I go ahead and leave it on. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right down the middle of the peach. And then I just do little sections like a pie. And first thing it does is it makes it easier, as you can see, for the pieces to just come off. And then I can toss them into the bowl that I am going to have. I'm going to move this over. The bowl that I'm going to have right here that we're going to mix everything in. So I'm just going to continue to cut this in those little pie pieces so that they nicely come off of the peach. And you can see this really doesn't take that long to cut a single peach. I like them, the peaches, in big pieces instead of making them into small squares. And that's just because I love peaches. I love the sweetness of the peaches. So I go ahead and leave them a slightly larger size. So that's what we've got for that. All right. I am going to show you how to cut a couple of cherries. And then I'll just do most of this and then come back. So you just cut the cherry, pull the pit out the middle. So you can see usually a line on most fruits where it'd be great to cut. And then you just, sometimes you miss cut and don't quite get that pit out. All right, and get that pit out. So try and cut as much right down the middle as you can so that when you peel it, you can see that pit right there and the pit just pops right out. So I'm going to do those and I'll be right back. All right, I have two peaches and my cherries in here. There's about 10, 15 cherries in here. I also wanna add some blueberries and I want you to see how beautiful these colors are together. And remember, anything that you get that is a deep blue 
or a deep purple or a deep red is going to have a lot of antioxidants in it, which is great. Now, as we look at this, we see different sizes and different colors. So you've got the large pieces with the peaches, you've got the medium size with the cherries, and you've got the small with the blueberries. Different sizes of bites of food is actually great because it gives you a better flavor profile, a feeling profile as you are chewing. So a lot of people say that you have to have everything being exactly the same size. That is absolutely not true. Um, a lot of chefs are now switching to having multiple sizes of bites. All right, we have our final fruit salad. Very quick, very easy. I'm gonna put a little bit into a bowl just because now that I've made it, I really want it for dessert. So if you look, this has got a lot of color. It's going to have a lot of flavor with it as well. I hope you enjoy. You can put anything in here you want. I decided tonight that I didn't want the bananas. I wanted to have the peaches, the cherries, and the blueberries. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, let me know.